Back in 2015, when renewables were the most expensive energy source, 196 countries, plus the EU, unanimously adopted the Paris Agreement anyway, agreeing to cut emissions to save the planet. Now it's 2025. Solar is officially the cheapest energy source in history. Climate change is accelerating. And suddenly, countries are backing away, now saying it'll cause economic hardship. But wait, so it was okay when renewables were more expensive, but not now it's the cheapest. And if renewables are now really the cheapest energy, why stretch to 2050? Why aren't we switching as fast as possible? Trump keeps calling clean energy a scam, warning that if you don't get away from the green scam, your country is going to fail. So I look deeper. The full breakdown is in my long form video, but here's the short version. Price reductions and advances in rooftop solar and modern batteries have brought things to a tipping point, can enable moving from cheap energy when the sun shines for those with panels to cheap energy for all 24 seven year round and reduce the need for transmission towers, unsightly turbines or large solar farms. And because so much household energy becomes self-generated, a huge chunk of energy spending simply disappears. People get cheaper power or even free power without a transaction happening. That means energy companies don't just lose revenue, they lose the market itself. And when billions in energy spending vanish, fossil fuel companies shrink, energy producers and retailers shrink, those corporate profits collapse, stock prices fall, GDP even appears to fall. Because GDP counts money changing hands, not how much electricity is actually produced or consumed. But here's what does go up. Consumer savings, cost of living relief, national energy security, disposable income, and overall household wealth. In other words, the people win, big energy corporations don't. For them, it's moved from growth opportunity to existential threat. And only one side has money to fund lobbying, PR campaigns, and political donations. So is clean energy a scam? Or is the scam that saving the planet requires sacrifices, so people never realize that clean energy can be cheap and great for consumers, but terrible for companies who write the talking points. We're at a crossroads. Will we choose lower bills and energy independence, or keep propping up a system terrified of what happens if people finally get cheap electricity?